today's video is one that I have been kind of requested to do a few times and I just kind of wanted to do because why not? So today's video is like my makeup collection. So I would say that I am, I like makeup, I'm not huge into it, nor am I very good at it. I try really hard. Um, but this is kind of like a minimalistic, condensed, just like what I use, what I need on a regular basis slash not really regular basis because I don't wear makeup every single day. You know what I mean? Um, anyways, if you're new here, please subscribe to my channel down below as well as click that little notification bell so that you are notified every time I post a new video. Also, give this video a big thumbs up if you're like me and like makeup and want to get more into it, but you're just not that good at it, you know? It, everyone has got time to learn. Wow, it's really overexposed, but whatever. Also, comment down below any video ideas you guys want to see on my channel. So I got a P.O. box. If you guys didn't know, the address will be in the description box down below. You can send me any letters or packages and things to that address down below. And I, ow! So like I said, you can send them down below and I would be love to like open them on camera and then reply to you. It'd be so much fun. So without further ado, let's just get on into the video. I don't know which way it goes, so I'm just gonna go. Okay guys, so I know this is a little bit weird of a setup, but this is my makeup organization thing. I bought this on Amazon. I am not exactly sure what it's called, but I can link it down below if you guys want to know what this is. It's just these acrylic little organizers and they actually separate into like three different compartments so you can spread them out or stack them differently if you choose, but I just kind of like to have them all on top of each other. So, um... I think these were about like 20 to 30 dollars for all three, which I just thought was a really good price. So, um, go me. So let's start with this first little organizer right here on top. So in the back, this isn't really makeup related, but it's just kind of in here. Um, this is the Essie Nail Polish. I literally never paint my nails, so I don't really know why I have this, but it's cute. It's like white, iridescent, really fun. I also have, this is the L'Oreal like makeup blending sponge. If you guys watched my PR haul, not the last one, but the one before that, L'Oreal sent me a package of a bunch of stuff and they spent all their sponges and they are so nice. So soft, you guys. If you're looking for an inexpensive dupe to a beauty blender, I would hit L'Oreal up, guys. Hit them up. Then in this back little compartment here, I just have some different products. I have the L'Oreal True Match Concealer the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, which is just like a white color, um, the Maybelline New York Fit Me Concealer, and the Essence Super Fine Eyeliner Pen. In the next little compartment next to those, I have my two Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealers. This one is in the shade Light, Pale, whatever. And then this one is like the illuminating one to put like underneath your eyes. So love those. Haven't used them in a while, but I do remember really liking them in the past. Next on to the little like lipstick organizer half of this. Um, in the back row, all I have are these two L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Boosting Drops. These are just like the Cover Effects ones, and they're really, really good, guys. I just got sent these in a PR package from L'Oreal, so I haven't had a chance to really play with them too much, but I do really like them. In the next row, I first have the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in the shade Comeback. Just a really nice mauve, nudie pink. I also have two of the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Lipsticks in the shade 352 Shakedown and 354 nudist as you guys can probably tell i am a big fan of nude lipsticks so um there you go um the next one i have in this row is the Too faced melted liquefied longwear lipstick in this shade melted berry i got this around the holidays like last year two years ago it's been a while um but this is just a really nice holiday berry tone then i have three like just normal lipsticks in the front the first one being this Maybelline lipstick in 895 on fire red. It's just a nice like Christmassy red color and guys literally the only reason I bought this was for Christmas videos last year so <laughs> that's fun. Um, I also have this Essence Matte lipstick in the shade 05 which is 
red E or not. So it's just this really nice bright red color. Again, I don't really wear red lipsticks a lot, but I like to keep them around for the holiday seasons. And the last lipstick, whoa, that I have, um, actually Essence sent me so long ago, so long ago, can't even talk today, um, but it is their matte liquid lipstick in the shade 05 Cool Nude, and this has been a favorite of mine for the longest time, guys. It's this nice mauve color. It's literally so cute. So now moving on to this, if you guys whoa, can even see it, this like compartment right here with all of my big liquid products in here. So the first thing that I have is the Anika Organics Certified Organic BB Cream. They sent me this a little while ago and guys, it is literally so nice. I can definitely see why people rave about this product all the time. Um, next I have the Bare Minerals Prime Time Original Foundation Primer. I have the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless. Um, just got tongue tied for a minute. Foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. So that's, that's fun. Um, I also have the NYX Matte Finish Long Lasting Setting Spray. A cult classic. Very, very nice for, um, you know, homecoming night, stuff like that. I also have one of my favorite products in the whole wide world. And if you guys have watched my videos for a long time, you know this. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. It's so easy. It's so fast. It's literally amazing. I use this all of the time. You can prime your face with it as well as kind of like set your face or like kind of rehydrate like halfway through the day if your makeup's just looking like crusty and nasty. You spray that on there and you're like, ooh, looking flawless. And the last part I have in my little top organizer thing is the Revlon Color Stay Foundation in the shade 220 Natural Beige. Um, I haven't used this in a while, but this is like the first foundation that I ever used. And it's really nice, guys. I would highly recommend. All right, so now we're gonna be moving on to this midsection. There is one little skinny pull-out drawer and then one super deep, big drawer. So we're gonna start with this skinny drawer. This is kind of like my palette drawer. Now, all of my palettes won't fit in here, but I'll show you which ones do. Um, this is the Lorac Nude Necessities Palette. This palette is really nice, you guys, and I know the mirror is just gonna be so annoying. But if you guys can see that, I don't really know if it's focusing, it's got a really nice collection of nude, matte, and shimmer shades, um, kind of more on the lighter side. Um, so you can't really do a whole look with this, but if you're on like a natural day, this, this is a really great palette, guys. Next one is the Soap and Glory Lid Stuff palette. This is just kind of a small, little on-the-go travel set of cool tone nudes. I really, I've swatched these and they're super nice, you guys. I was actually like really impressed. I didn't even know Soap and Glory made makeup, um, but they're super nice and I haven't really had much of a chance to play around with them yet, but I gotta get on that because they look really nice. Also, another thing I haven't really gotten a chance to play around with yet, but this is the Essence All About Roses eyeshadow palette. They sent me this a while back and this, I think, there's two, three mattes and the rest are shimmers. All of these just really nice, like rose gold tones, literally gorgeous. So I'm very excited to test these out and I'll let you guys know what I think. And lastly, oh, actually not lastly, hold that thought. Um, you guys know how much I love this palette. This is the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom palette. The packaging is gorgeous. It smells heavenly and I have definitely dug out of this palette quite a lot. You just can make so many, whoa, so many amazing nude looks with this palette. It's like kind of insane. Um, so if, if you are looking for one high-end palette, you can only afford one high-end palette, please guys, just get this one. It's literally so nice. And lastly, a palette that I actually recently found at Nordstrom Rack on sale for like $25 and it's normally like 50 something. Um, this is the Naked, the Urban Decay Naked Smoky Palette. Oh, it's gorgeous. Um, this palette definitely has a lot of darker tones that you have not previously seen in my collection because I'm definitely a nude type of gal. But this palette is amazing for school dances, like events that you have to go to where you need some deeper tones. This is perfect as well as they have some really nice lighter matte shades and this really really pretty rose gold here at the end. I love this and the packaging is literally so cute. This can't fit in my palette drawer which I kind of makes me 
upset, but um, it's okay. I will find a new spot for it. So now we're gonna move on to this second deeper big drawer thing. So um, let's just dive in. The first product that I have is the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. This is a super nice mascara, guys, from the drugstore. It's super good. It's actually what I'm wearing today. Um, I normally wear the Benefit Roller Lash, but I didn't have time to go to Ulta, and I ran out, so I bought that at Kroger one day. And honestly, guys, it is so nice, and I have been so impressed by it, so I would highly recommend um, I also have the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. They sent me this, and it's really nice, and I love it. Next, I have the both of the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Glow Nude uh, Highlighter Palettes. Um, this is in the Moon Kissed shade, like that, and then this is in the Sun Kissed, so kind of more warmer tones on this side, more pearly Tones on this side, I have gotten to play with these a little bit since I've gotten them, and guys, they are really, really, really nice. I think they're very comparable to the Anastasia Glow Kits, which I actually got one of those, and I'll show you guys later. Um, but they're very inexpensive, and I would definitely recommend you try out this whole new Lumi Glow, like, collection they just brought out, because, like, girl, it is fine. Adding on to the Lumi Glow Nude collection, this is the Lumi Glotion in the shade light glow. I haven't really gotten a chance to play with this much, but I am super, super, super excited about it, and I'll let you guys know what I think. I also have the Inica Organics Long Lash Mascara. This is really nice, you guys. I've been super impressed with Inica. They have sent me a couple packages so far, and I had never tried them out before they had sent me stuff, and I have been so impressed. I also have the Essence I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. It's just a really nice, super cheap eyeshadow primer, because I don't really want to go and spend like $30 on eyeshadow primer, because that just kind of seems dumb. I also have the Essence Lash and Brow Gel, just clear stuff to set your brows in place. If you're just not really feeling like doing a whole big shebang and just don't want them flying all over the place, great product. Also the Inica Organics, this is like their um, lip gloss and I think this is, yes, in the shade Blossom. I have the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. I don't really wear this much, but it's a super cheap alternative if you don't have, if you're on like a budget, this is a pretty good mascara. And lastly, I have the Inica Organics Lip Serum, which I have not had a chance to try yet because my lips actually have not gotten chapped like this whole winter. And I'm like, ooh, dang, like, go me. I've been drinking my water. This is just what it looks like, and I think this is going to be a lifesaver the next time that my lips get real chapped, which you know, they do. So now moving on to these two little bottom drawers. In this one little bottom drawer, I just have some Soap and Glory products. So I have like the Righteous Butter, their hand cream, foot cream, the like scrubs and stuff. So that's not really makeup, so I'm not gonna go through that drawer, but just thought I should tell you what's in it. Um, but in this drawer, I have a lot of my face products. So highlighters, bronzers, and blushes really is all that's in this drawer. So the first product I have is a product I've been using for so long. As you guys have definitely seen by my makeup collection, I love Essence. They are so affordable, but they have really, really great products. This is the Essence All About Matte Compact Powder. They sent this to me so long ago, and I fell in love with it. As you guys can see, I have definitely, definitely hit pan on this product. I use no other setting powder than this. This is literally all I need. It's so nice. Next, I have the NARS Duo. This has the shade Hot Sand Blush and Laguna, obviously, the cult classic bronzer in it. These are great, 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 great products to have. And honestly, I use Hot Sand as a more natural highlight a lot of the times because it's really shimmery. Just thought I'd point that out. Love me some NARS. I also have, I think, the first Essence product I actually ever bought. This is the Essence Pure Nude Highlighter. This is a cult classic, you guys. This is very comparable to like the um, Becca Champagne Pop. If you want that really badly but only have like $2, go and buy this. 
Because honestly, this is so nice, you guys, and I haven't worn it in a while, and I really should because it's bomb. Also from the drugstore, which is really great, I like how my collection kind of has a mix of drugstore and high-end to kind of just show you guys some nice alternatives. Anyways, also from the drugstore, this is the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick in the shade 100 Light Iridescent, whatever that means. This is just a really nice cream highlighting stick. It's very pearlescent, rose gold. S. Next, I have the Benefit Boxed Bronzer, um, the Hula Bronzer, literally. Who are you if you don't own this? This product is so nice. Really, really appreciate it. And a pro tip if you're like this girl and like broke a F, um, buy the little mini boxes. They are like $10 cheaper than buying a full size box, but you get a, no, like I've never hit pan on one of these before, so just get the little mini art boxes. You can't even really tell that it's a mini box, but it is. Fun fact. There you go. Knowledge from Jade. Also, I have the Benefit Boxed Blush in Dandelion. This is a super cute, light pink, slightly shimmery, but not really, um, blush, and I love, love, love the Benefit Boxed Blushes, guys. Definitely hit Benefit up. I also have all three shades of the Inica Certified Organic Cream Illuminizers. Um, these are really nice for like a natural day if you're kind of just slapping some stuff on your face and going. Um, this is the shade Gold. This is the shade, hold on, Rose. This is kind of good for more of like a blush tone. And this is the shade Spice. And I actually have a whole nother set, all three of these are actually in my giveaway pile right now. So um, next time we do a giveaway, you will definitely be seeing those products because I freaking love them. And the last product in this drawer is the Essence Satin Touch Blush in the shade 10 Satin Coral. Really nice, I think, it, yeah, matte blush shade, super cute. Obviously, great price because it's Essence, literally, it's like, everything in Essence is like, under five dollars it feels like and it's bless the heavens for essence let's just be real last but certainly not least i have the anastasia beverly hills sun dipped glow kit <sighs> my child right here um i love this i wanted a glow kit for so long because obviously highlighters are like the best thing ever um but this is what she looks like right there obviously just gorgeous um and this like my naked smoky palette doesn't really have a place so i just kind of shove it right there in the little corner and i get her to uh kind of go in there a little bit. So this jar right here is dedicated to my makeup brushes. It is on the other side of my little dresser thingamajig. I'm not going to go through all of my brushes, but I have, you know, I, I have this huge set of like white ones with um, gold. And then I also have some Inica brushes, like as you saw on my last PR haul. I have some more of these like artiste style brushes. And then I have a lot of Real Techniques brushes. Honestly, guys, Real Techniques are my favorite brushes. They're so soft and they're such a great price. Yes, Real Techniques, come through. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up as well as comment down below video ideas you guys wanna see on my channel. If you're new here, please subscribe. There should be a button here or, you know, just click the one down below as well as click that little notification bell so that you're notified every time I post a new video. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. It was fun for me to make, um, but I am kind of at a loss for ideas of videos, so you know, just leave them in those comment sections and I will be sure to get to them for you guys. I love you so much and you guys mean the world to me, so I think that's just about it. I will see you guys next week with another video. And stay on the lookout for live streams because I'm kind of, um, in the mood right now, so I'm um, just letting you know. Bye guys. Bye.